What is your Tinder horror story? This guy asked me if I would be interested in dating his dad. First date, she wanted me to get into a bar fight with the perfectly friendly guy who'd bought us a round of shots that night. Why? Because she found out he was a Scorpio. Matched with my BFF's fiancé after the engagement party. Screenshots of everything and lost my BFF because I don't play that. I was uninvited to the wedding. Marriage lasted 18 months. Fresh off a breakup on campus, match with this really good looking girl who is talking pure filth. Obviously I'm just an idiot with a hurt heart so I don't question much, head over to her place a few days later. She insisted I come over on a certain day at x o'clock. Usually I would have been sketched out but it was the middle of the day on a Big Ten campus what exactly could go that south? Half hour in her husband came home. I was being used in revenge plot. No more Tinder. Well I've only gone on one Tinder date, we talked for a bit and I agreed to pick her up at Starbucks. She looked nothing like her pictures, but I thought I should be nice and at least hang out with her for a bit. We went to her place and the entire house reeked like cat pee. Like saturated. Then as she proceeded to show me her massive collection of animal tail butt plugs, she screamed at her chihuahua and smacked it right on the nose and without missing a beat just asks if I want to make out on the couch. I awkwardly sat down and pretended to look at my phone and made up that my grandma was dying so I could GTFO. So I met this girl on Tinder and went for a lunch date. We had a pretty good connection so we decided to have dinner as well. After having a few drinks one thing lead to another and ended up back at my place, we hooked up and went to sleep. Middle of the night I wake up. She's intensely staring at me while she's crouched behind the bed. I asked her if everything is alright, she said yes and got back into bed. I thought little creepy, but probably nothing to worry about. She lays down to cuddle with me and she's wet. At the time, I was like damn I must just be a stallion. Fast forward to the morning, she's gone and there's a wet puddle beside the bed. She peed on my floor. I still don't understand it. I had a bathroom, but maybe she just got lost and couldn't hold it? I did not hear from her again. Talked to him for two weeks before we went out and no red flags so we ended up going out to dinner. I said I hadn't been out in a while because I was trying to save money for a washer and dryer. He told me instead of saving for that I should save for a boob job. I didn't even know how to reply so he followed up with, no it's not a bad thing, my sister and mom both had small tits and got boob jobs and they look amazing. This is all before the waitress even brought our drinks. I just got up and left. Met up with a Tinder girl at Dave and Buster's. She brought me there for a fucking pyramid scheme sign up presentation. Guess I respect the hustle. We were supposed to meet at 9pm, he fell asleep and called me at 9.30 when I was already at the carnival. I told him not to bother coming as I didn't want to see him. He asked for another chance and I agreed. Unfortunately my dad got really ill and had to spend the next 6 weeks in the hospital with me visiting him daily. I had no time for dates and he got extremely mad. He made a fake Instagram account which he used to follow me and everybody that I followed. He then saw me in a friend's Instagram story and showed up to the restaurant we were at. He called me a whore and a liar and we had to threaten to call the police because he would not leave. My worst Tinder experience was pretty traumatizing for me at the time. I was a sophomore in college and she was a junior or senior at the same school. The first time we ever hung out, I went over to her apartment and we just watched some Netflix and hung out. Nothing crazy. I was thinking this chick is super cool, we may have something here. So I leave telling her I'd like to see her again if she's down. She told me she would love to and just hit her up whenever and we'll make some plans. We start texting slash snapchatting throughout the week and organize some plans for the following weekend. Out of nowhere, she starts sending me unsolicited nudes. Never once asked for them and when we were hanging out the weekend prior, there was no sexual activity at any level. We quite literally Netflix and chilled. It caught me off guard, but I was more than cool with it. I'm a young college guy and this hot older chick wants to send me nudes after only hanging out one time? Say less. Fast forward to the weekend, 
she comes to my apartment and we're hanging out with my roommates watching something on TV. She asks me if she can stay the night, and after sending nudes to me all week, I kind of figured what was up, so in my head I'm like, uh fuck yes. But I tell her of course and to be polite I offer to sleep on the couch because we've only known each other for all of about two weeks and have only seen each other in person one time prior. She tells me she'd rather me sleep in my bed with her, so I know it's on. We get to Netflix and chilling in my room and I make a move. We start to hook up and eventually wind up having sex. I wore a condom and finished inside of it and tossed it off to my side of the bed. As we're laying there after a few minutes, she gets up abruptly, comes around to my side of the bed and grabs the condom off the floor and runs into the bathroom. I'm a little confused, maybe a little concerned but kind of brush it off. As I'm laying there in my bed I hear a loud crash in my bathroom she yells fuck I ask if she's okay and get no response. I'm a little concerned thinking this girl just fell in my bathroom and cracked her head open or something. I go to open the door and she is standing in my shower with one leg propped up trying to shove the condom up her vagina after she flipped it inside out. I freak out, no clue what to do. She's clearly freaked out and probably embarrassed. I have no clue. I shut the door and she immediately comes back out, says she's gonna leave and I say sounds good. I never hear from her again. Found a profile using a picture of me that was obviously ripped from my Facebook account. Come to find out it was my ex-wife trying to stir up drama and problems between my current wife and myself. A single friend of ours texted me a screenshot of it. My wife is an intelligent woman and didn't fall for it. This became a horror story for my ex because this among other shady things she had done landed her with stalking charges and identity theft charges. Sucks to be stupid. First date, we went to see a movie. She brought her sister along, without consulting me first, and I somehow ended up paying for both of their tickets. Bit of a doormat, old me. We went to see Star Wars, The Force Awakens. Turns out, neither of them had seen a Star Wars film before, nor had any idea at all what was going on. Awesome. Date ended at McDonald's after the movie with one hour plus of her eating fries one at a time, and her sister talking shit about basically everyone at her work. To this day I am not sure what that date was even about. There was no second date. We lived about 25 minutes from each other so agreed to meet at the beach pier about halfway between. Before meeting, we had been texting and he seemed totally normal. I was already at the pier when he texted me saying he can't meet me there because his license is revoked and it's too far for him to walk. I should have just left then, but I agreed to meet him at a pizza place closer to him. I get there, and I'm standing outside when I see him, and quickly realize the pics from his profile were at least 3 to 5 years old. Homeboy looks like the dollar store version of himself. Greasy, looks like he hasn't showered in days, hair and done, holes in his shirt. I awkwardly give him a side hug and suggest we get a seat, and he says, oh, no, we're not getting pizza. Let's go to the park. I awkwardly say okay, and as he talks, I realize his gums and tongue ring are stained black from smoking. By this point, I am completely turned off and am just keeping up with formalities. So we get to the park and find a bench to talk, and before I can sit down, homie pulls me onto his lap, squeezing me and saying, God, baby girl, you are so fucking cute. I awkwardly scooch away and try to get a conversation going. He pulls out his phone and starts texting for a few minutes, not really listening to me, before interrupting with, have you smoked? My friend is a plug, we could go back to my place for a bowl. I decline. Ah, uh, come on, baby girl, my place is just right there. We could have some fun, too. I decline again. Next thing you know, he pulls me close by the face and whispers, you're so innocent, before broad tongue licking my face from chin to ear. Shell shocked, I just sit there for a moment processing what the fuck just happened as he keeps talking about weed before I decide to fake an urgent phone call and leave. He gave me my first kiss. I didn't hear from him for two days. On the third day he texted me that he had been arrested. Haven't heard from him since. Chatted with this girl for about two weeks. Every conversation went well and eventually I got her number and she started sharing nudes and speaking dirty. 
Late on evening after a stressful work day she talks me into driving an hour to come get coffee with her. She spends the next hour and a half non-stop talking about her ex and how she has to see him at the bank and all this personal upset ex-girlfriend stuff. She cuts me off any time I try to speak or change the subject right back to him. A day later I get a text about how I didn't do any talking and I was too boring to be anything more than just friends with. She got irate when I pointed out she would not allow me to speak and only wanted to talk about her ex-boyfriend when we have never once had a slow or boring conversation before meeting up. This girl I matched with just messaged to troll me. I was like hey what's up and she was like don't talk to me unless you plan on fucking me with your 9 inch dick. I forgot what my reply was but she obviously never messaged back. Then a week later I'm getting McDonald's and this girl was the one who handed me my food. She recognizes me instantly and just had this total look of fear in her eyes. I walked out of there so quick. That poor girl thought I purposely sought her out to confront her or something. Met a guy, decent conversation, smart, funny, mutual nerdy hobbies. We decide to meet up at the local gamer bar and play some games while having our first date. Get in, sit down, dude has no teeth. Says a hack dentist told him they all had to be removed, couldn't get dentures due to budget, needed to wait for bone shards to fall out of his gums, etc. Proceeded to spit all over our food while talking, which granted, I knew he couldn't help, but if he can hide something this big from someone, what else could he be hiding? Plus I couldn't stomach the thought of making out with someone with no teeth. A chick said she was having a work party at her house and I should come over. It's bring your own booze, so I bought a six pack for myself. Went to her place and noticed more than half of the people were younger, 17 or 18, while I was 21 and the girl was also 21. Then they gathered everyone in the living room and proceed to talk about the job. Turns out it was one of those pyramid scheme recruiting gatherings. I just sat there drinking my beer, only one drinking, for two hours because I thought it was rude to leave because they were telling sob stories and saying how much this job had helped them. Sat there listening to some head of the group guy saying how we can make millions in a short amount of time. Saying bullshit like you see my BMW 3 Series out front? That's a company car that you can drive around in, if you do what we do. It was sad because they were trapping low-income teens that are deciding not to go to college and to join them. After the pitch, I pretty much had enough and was preparing to leave. Then the girl came up to me and asked what I thought and I just said it's not for me and I'm leaving. She asked if I wanted to take my beer and I said they needed it more than I did. Two or three weeks later she sent me a text, unfortunately we exchanged numbers, asking if the head of the group guy can call me and ask me questions on why I'm not signing up and how I thought the group session went. I didn't reply but sure enough the dude called me and I politely said it's not for me but he kept pushing. Finally I had to tell him to fuck off. And that was the end of that. Never went to work parties for a Tinder date again. It was a complete shit show and if it wasn't for the beer I brought or the Tinder dates dog, I would have just left. Looking back on it, during the pitch, the head of the group guy said at one point if you're not interested in making a million dollars, you can just leave, no one's stopping you. I really wish I stood up, chugged my beer and said fuck this shit, you guys are all stupid and no one should be joining, you will ruin your lives and walk out. But that's just a daydream I have in the shower. Found this really hot woman close by, talked for a bit and went out for pizza then back to her place. A few weeks later I met her kid, who absolutely adored me. Now we live together and have another child. Deleted Tinder. Never again. He told me he's not gay but he prefers to have sex with men and prefers to be on the bottom. I asked if he was bi and he said no I'm straight I just like getting fucked in the ass. And then he asked me if he could pee in my butt cause he's always wanted to try it but he won't top guys so he can't find out how it feels. He's the head football coach of a private college in my state and that made it even weirder somehow. Not Tinder but Match.com and right in its infancy too long time ago when it was just weirdos doing online dating. I matched and met up with a girl. She was way hotter than me, like crazy hot, way out of my league. The date was going super well and we'd even made out a bit. Couldn't believe my luck. 
We decided that as it was going so well we'd keep it going and headed to a bar. We were getting cozy in a corner when a group of African lads came into the bar. I live in a very homogeneous white country to the point that that would even be noteworthy especially at that time. She got up off where we were sitting and began shouting abuse at the lads who came in saying they didn't belong here and dropping the n-word several times. I felt like that moment in a horror movie where the camera sims in on your face and the background zooms out. I just got up and walked out. She tried to call me the next day to set up another date, I just ignored her. Clearly fucking nuts. Too good to be true in the truest sense. I went on a Tinder date a several months ago around October and it went really well. Girl had a job, wasn't crazy, and was cute so we decided to have a second date. The only thing was that the second date was at her Thanksgiving party so she could introduce me to her friends and family which I thought was a bit too early for. Anyways, I didn't have anything planned that day so I decided to go. My job was to make the jungle juice for the party and it consisted of the usual Everclear, Hawaiian Punch, Lemonade Powder and Ice Combo I've used throughout college. It worked wonders and everyone got really drunk. Near the end of the party my date and her friends told me I did an amazing job on the drink. My date also mentioned that she really liked the fruit I added into there and that everyone at the party was trying to get some. For some reason, that did not sit well with drunk me so I headed over to the alcohol canister to investigate. I grabbed my trusty ladle and started scraping the bottom of the canisters and on one of the ladles I found some chunks of meat and pieces of ramen. That's when I realized that someone puked in the jungle juice. I went to his place and we hooked up but after he goes so you wanna know what I'm really into? And I was like sure and then he grabs my foot. I have a really irrational fear of people touching my feet so I ran the hell out of there anyway I get to the living room on the way out and it turns out to be his parents house and I look at his mother and see she was my old therapist. She smoked some meth. Her dogs ate my wallet. I matched with a girl and sent a lot of messages, later that night we talked on the phone and the conversation was going really well so I asked to go out the next night. She agreed and then 5 minutes later she tells me that needs to tell me something. She tells me that she's permanently in a wheelchair. So I'm either an a-hole if I back out now or an a-hole if I lead her on. I figure why not, it's just a date and it could be a fun time still. We talk more that night and go to bed, the next morning she calls me early and tells me she's doing something crazy. She won't tell me what but she said she'll show me later. A few hours goes by and she calls me back, and tells me she's going to send me a pic of what she did. I check my messages and I see a picture of her wrist, with my name now tattooed on it. We end the call and I immediately tell my friends about this crazy girl. Later that night I'm driving to her place cause I figure, she can be committed enough to tattoo my name on her I should be committed enough to go on this date. Plus I have to know if it's real. I'm almost at her place and I realize that my car may not accommodate her wheelchair and I know she drives so I ask if she can drive us. I'm walking in the parking lot and she drives up and I get in the car. Now I had figured she had a handicap enabled car. Nope. Turns out she just uses two crutches to drive, one on the gas and one on the brake. I don't like this as we're driving on the Southern California freeways in traffic. We go eat and she gets a phone call from her daughter. Turns out she left her 10 year old daughter at home alone and she's scared. I'm like hey we can go. But she's like no it's okay I gave her something to make her sleep she'll be asleep soon. So we finish up and I was gonna take her to see a movie, but the kid thing was too much so we head home and my fingers are already crossed that we make it when she turns to me while driving and says wow I'm kinda drunk. In my head I'm like, one drink is all you had. But I ask if I can drive and she says no she's gonna get in the fast lane and uses her crutch to hit the gas. I say my last prayers but we made it back to her place. So I wheeled her back to her door said goodbye and lived. Tattoo was real though. Me and a girl agreed to a hookup, this was a few years ago. We did the traditional swap nudes beforehand to make sure we both liked what we saw, and she shows up to my place 5 months pregnant. I asked Hati if she hide that stomach and she said hey you only asked to see my tits and ass. You never asked for a full body. Touché. But fuck you. There's a few bit the first that comes to mind. 
Met this really cute girl on Tinder, she was really cool and we got along pretty well. I forget how our first date went but after hanging out a few times I went over to her place and we hooked up. It was pretty great except that I forgot in her bio that she was fluent in German. And so Mitko it is this very cute blonde is shouting in German, which no offense to the Germans isn't exactly the sexiest language in the book. It was so unexpected and I was terrified. Another time we went to grab a drink at a bar and she obviously knew the bartender and we were all chatting it up, she was hanging on me and we had some PDA going on. After the bartender left I asked how she knew him, and she told me that he was her ex-husband. I was a bit shocked because we were all 20-somethings. When she went to the bathroom he leaned over and asked me how I took to the German in bed and I still a bit shocked said it's alright he winked at me and she came back. Weird girl, nice guy, comped our drinks and he still remembers me when I go in for a beer.